one strap. Another crawling dart. So is this yours? It's a witcher's nightmare. Nope. This is daily life for us. a hundred times since then that you I... You pissed yourself before the whole village. The Yarr son. Ha! Ah, the shame should have punished you. You're a vision. A specter. A vision of your dog, who you fear, because you know you don't live up to him. You know you disappoint him. I'm a better warrior than he ever was. Prove it, you little shite. Who's the better warrior now? Who? Lugos, leave him. He's only a vision. Get up, Garrett. You've paid your debt. You're a free man. Gonna tell your father what you faced in the Cave of Dreams? Of course I will. I've no fear of him, right? It was an honor to fight at your side. Farewell, Garrett.
gonna make me wait. Not your lucky day.
that's not. Welcome to the home of Jarl Odelrek of the Honorable Clan Brockfire. Greetings. Wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing. Watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. Sword in your back. Jarl must have dreamt another vision. We'll be done in a moment. And then. A giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. <laughs> I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udelric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in all day? I like it where yesterday. Last night was off the fell overboard. And... <laughs> Foreigner, watch your step. <laughs> <laughs> We'll stick together, and I'll we'll work out. Heard Sarah struck in for a visit. Eh, yeah, it is an honor to host on Crate's daughter. She come for a reason.
Ceresis. Ceres. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What... what happened? Where am I? Oh, my head! Pain's just awful! Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Crocs worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udlerik's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udlerik. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udlerik and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udlerik. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. Huh. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udlerik to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udlerik to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udlerik had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udlerik kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udlerik right now. Powerfully so, and it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udlerik's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once, but now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udlerik let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udlerik didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brockvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udlerik? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together.
this about? Find a sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> Things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. What's your step? Can you stay long? <sighs> I could have married a continental man. you! <sighs> Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the gr It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain. To hear the gods is... These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, foreigner. You're in Skelliger, our land, and we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest. Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We conclude that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell... Angry you want to make peace with your brother? Are the gods of Skellige that cruel? They are that just. Justice demands you return to the dead... What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards all you It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow up. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until... No. No, no. The gods, they'll be... Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Well... Maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no... What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? I... That ought to be enough. I'm off. It's really you, Grimace, made his apprentice. Yeah. 
have to know when it's raining.
anything. Time to see Udal Rick. What is this? Ludwig, the voice has come up. What? Why do you do such? What did the gods want? They were angry, a voice said. You vile wretch. You didn't help Aki. And now poke out your eye. When did the gods speak to you? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas the... You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you? My old home. They come... The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any light? In my dreams. At times I see... To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house... Lesser men are unworthy. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that, please. The gods ever show you their form, or... A Once, I steeled myself, gathered... I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udalric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udalric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udalric could just... 
expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Uh-huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? As long as my name is not Yennefer, no one will call you henpeck for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good trick, we can still do it your way. Fine. Let's try to trick the Heim. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Somebody could break their leg or their neck. Shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. Anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply got to trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! <laughs> Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. 
Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the faith. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long.
your pill. You drink last night too? Rupert, don't eat so much. Why the spit not? Because if you get hit in the gut and those herrings get tangled in your engine. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Would you dance for me, mate? Sing ballads of it. Keep clear of ah. decent folk. I'm looking for men from Hundvik. You have oars from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shore. Uh, a lovely excursion. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Harderock. Heard you trilling a different tune. Ah, that doesn't matter. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a whelp looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zeracanian princess. Brave lad, I'd have sailed with Yalmar if... You'd sail with any... You mentioned sirens. Many on Hundvik? So, so many. Bollocks. Once they attack Lars and me... Drive away the... Ha! Plain to see you're no islander. Need to get to Undvik. Another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close. Lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them's shorter, just below the surface. So careful not to scrape right over them. Big breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Oh, oh fine. What? Nice talking to you. Fair winds to Cut his poncho, pulled out his guts, and made him run around the tree.